Uh, the price performance and capacity of information technology, also its size, uh, is amazingly predictable, despite the vagaries of human history. And, and what's predictable is that it progresses in an exponential manner. And another important observation is that's not intuitive. If you wonder why do we have a brain, it's to make predictions about the future. Uh, so when we were walking through the fields a thousand years ago, we'd kind of look up and go, okay, that animal's going that way. I'm coming up the path this way. We're going to meet at that rock. That's maybe not a good idea. I'm going to take a different path. Uh, that became hardwired in our brains. We didn't expect that animal to speed up as it went along. We made a linear prediction of the future. That is our intuition about the future. Uh, the primary difference between myself and my critics is we're looking at the same world. We have pretty much consistent perceptions about what that means. They then just apply their linear intuition about what will happen, even unsaid. It's just so obvious that things will progress in a linear manner. For, for example, halfway through the genome project, seven years into this 15-year project, 1% had been collected. So mainstream critics, including a Nobel Prize winner, said, well, I told you this wasn't going to work. Here you are, seven years, 1%. It's going to take 700 years, just like we said. Uh, my reaction was, oh, we're at 1%. We're almost done. Because 1% is only seven doublings from 100%. It had been doubling every year. There are reasons to expect that to continue. Indeed, it finished seven years later. And every other aspect of biology has been scaling up in an exponential manner. 